the very last step that we need to do every time we work on a project and especially with what you're going to have to send in on Moodle for this course is to prepare it for output. Now, simply, we're just going to work with the InDesign format for now. So I hope you've saved often. You can just save as to save as an InDesign file, or if you just opened the InDesign file, you just save and you already have the InDesign file. But if you just send that, that is not enough because InDesign doesn't actually store these fonts, doesn't store these images. These are just on your computer and InDesign links them inside the file, but when it has to show them, it accesses them on your computer. So if you send me the InDesign file, I will not have the photos as well. Those will still be on your computer. That is why uh, when you downloaded this from Moodle, you got all this stuff. You need to have the photos in a link links folder. You need to have the fonts in a document fonts folder. And you should, as good practice, always have an IDML file in case someone has a different version of InDesign than you so that they can open it when you're sending this for evaluation, for print, for... I don't know, for feedback from a client or something like this. So to do that, you don't have to do this manually. Actually, you shouldn't do this manually because you're going to miss stuff and InDesign is not going to automatically reconnect all those files uh, where you put them. So you have to go to File and Package. This is extremely important. You have to do this every time before you send this to someone. So definitely before you upload this to Moodle. So click File, Package, and InDesign brings up a box here uh, that basically gives you an, some information about what's in the document, if there are any errors. For now, you can just move on, click Package again, and uh, it asks you for a location. So I'm going to make this uh, on my desktop. I'm going to make a new folder, final. And in this final folder, I'm going to save my package. The package is not a file. It is a folder that, co that contains a lot of stuff. So that's why it tells you here folder name and it has folder appended to it. And you need to make sure that copy fonts is checked so the fonts are copied. Copy link graphics as well. Update graphic links so it knows they've been moved to the package. And then it's good practice to also include an IDML file for people with various versions of InDesign and also to include a PDF so people can have a quick look at what's in there. You can select what kind of PDF, press quality is fine by default. Uh, the other two options are only relevant if you have hidden content and if you do like layers that are hidden or stuff like that, then it's it depends on you whether you want that to be included as well and if you have various other adaptations. So by default, you should actually just get this and just leave leave all this checked and just click package. And what happens now is InDesign takes a bit. It might give you a warning that some fonts should not be copied. And please read that. That's true. Make sure what you share. The fonts we're using here are okay to be copied, but most might not be. Uh, and in my final folder here, I have this folder that InDesign created. And if I open it, you see I have my InDesign file. I also have my IDML file. I have my PDF file. I have all my images that I used copied here and all the fonts that I used copied here and even some that I haven't, but I might have a stray space 
that uses that font or something. So, and to send this to some, or actually to upload it to Moodle, otherwise it's negotiable how you send this. The best way is to just right click this, go to send to and make a, an archive compressed zip folder. And this is the file that contains everything that you can actually upload. You cannot upload folders to Moodle, but this you can. Also make, also make sure this is smaller than 100 megabytes because Moodle is limited to that. Uh, otherwise, that's not that much of a limitation. So this is what you can upload. This is the very, very final step and the end of this project.